it, you smooth that out on the trailing edge, so you <clears throat> make sure you get all the wrinkles out. So it, it sticks pretty fast. It's already dried a little bit. It dries real fast. So this is where the aileron goes. So, so I, I take the fabric and I go right into the into the coal where the aileron fits. But first, you stick it on the top, on the on the on the um, top part of the bit. Hmm, hard one to get keep from getting a wrinkle right in this corner. It seems like it's some. Um and go around on the tip. Stretch it a little bit. <clears throat> this stuff, this uh, material will stretch a little. You can stretch it a little bit. And now I'm going to cover the uh, cold part where the um, aileron fits in. <clears throat> and I've already put the uh, dope on the inside, so when I smoothen it here, that makes a nice clean coal to fit the ailerons in. You have to be careful to get all the wrinkles out. And then I have to. Um, the fabric down inside of that and I have to make a slit for the um, hinges. Where's my razor blade? Oh here it is. Why do you need fabric in here? Uh, I put in fabric there so when I paint, mm -hmm. the, um, the finish will be the same on the inside and it makes a real nice smooth finish. And then when I the paint, um,
we got the three hinges sticking out. We've cut the fabric that's gone through the cold of the, where the aileron fitting in here and it's drying. And then we trim it. Just let it dry for a little longer. We'll let it trim it. So now the aileron is ready to fit in there. Now the next step is I start trimming on the leading edge. That, that lit, that out. <clears throat> so, uh, here's the new, I got a new, uh, <clears throat> when we trim on the leading edge, the top, when you cover the top wing, it'll come over and overlap the covering from the bottom bang, wing about one fourth, so it'll come over. So I try to have the seam about right in here someplace. So I try to cut straight. You want to get a try straight, get the straightest seam. Leading edge is pretty well trimmed off, so we can go to the next. Uh, oh, one thing you have to remember before you put the top cover on is to run a string through the center of the ribs and over to the servo tray where you mount the servo. Because there would be a servo mounted in the wing for the aileron servo. So then when you um, run your leads from the radio in here, you can pass your lead on a string and pull it through to the servo tray. Just tie it off, and then so it'll pull through. We're starting to cover the top part of the wing now, and we want to have a straight seam on the leading edge that overlaps the bottom fabric coming up from the bottom. We'd like to keep it about maybe a fourth of an inch or so. So that's what we're trying to do. So we'll go along and hold that straight and start putting a little dope, nitrate dope, underneath there. So that's, um, you just put uh, paint the dope over the top that's now and it's soaked through the, the fabric coming up from the bottom of the wing and that'll stick it. Looking pretty good.
the hardest part of the top part of the wing is, is, the, is the leading edge. To get your seam straight and you make a good seam so when you paint you won't see a seam. So that is the hardest part to get a nice straight seam all the way across the leading edge. Overlapping about a fourth of an inch. Overlapping the bottom fabric from the bottom of the wing approximately a fourth of an inch.